welcome to Miss Rampant Rider. That's right, it's the Misses. I have no idea where we're off to. Somewhere near Arundel uh, in West Sussex. We were going to go to Lumi's, but by the time we came back from Crawley and did bits and bits around there, we um, we wouldn't get back in time to go to Lumi's and maybe have coffee or bite to eat or whatever. It was my idea to go out today. I bought some new gloves. I wanted the uh, RST Madison ones, but when we went into P&H in Crawley, there um, was only larges and extra larges, and my little hand, oh god, this is a bit stuck in. Um, when we went, we um, there wasn't any in my size, so uh, all of the small-handed ladies out there, you stole my gloves. <laughs> Uh, so I thought, well, next best thing is probably going to go and have a look at the men's gloves, which is what I did. And lo and behold, I found a pair of RST ones, extra small, 34.99. They've even got carbon fibre in them. Woohoo! And here they are. Nice. It's hard when you're a female and you've got to buy motorcycle gear, as all you lady riders understand feel my pain buying leather as well buying jeans is hard enough for a short person I'm only five foot three size probably eight to ten on the bottom maybe eight to ten on the top and trying to find jeans that fit and let alone motorcycle leathers is absolutely ridiculous uh, my leathers are the RST razor ones. Um, I don't think RST do them anymore. Oops, someone's had an accident. There's barely anything there. Fucking hell, it's just a crack in the bloody registration plate. What was the point of stopping? Um, so yeah, anyway, these are the RST razor ones. They are uh, black and white. And I got them from uh brand hatch back in march i think we went for bsb first round bsb it's march um bought them there and they were the only size left in this particular one and luckily both were size 12 and uh, it fit like a glove so can't complain oh he's got a cabbage helmet <laughs> where's your jacket Oh, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Hate these traffic lights. And the reason this gets so congested is because two lanes go down into one. And this is the main road that goes from Worth It. Well, actually, it goes a bit further than that. It goes all the way from. Um, it goes e uh, from Eastbourne all the way over to Chichester and Portsmouth and as you'll see as we go along it will go from being dual carriageway doing 70 through villages like Worthing where you have to do 30 into one lane then down into two again it's an absolute joke well they haven't sorted it out before and they just do it like the A23 and it goes all the way dual carriageway all the way from Crawley and actually it's further up than that all the way from the M25 all the way down into Brighton is dual carriageway and it makes life so much easier but no it's a nice car you have there full of shit so I don't know if you've been watching rampant riders videos for a long time but you know that this bike this one is it's fairly new it's probably only had it about a couple of months um before that he had a uh, bright yellow suzuki sv 650s um and now he's got a black and yellow honda cbr 600f this is 
the second time I've been pillion on the back um, and I thought I'd just do a little bit of a, a sort of what do I think <laughs> of the bike being pillion um, because I know you guys out there obviously you might have somebody you go on the back with regularly or um, those people are watching maybe you go on the back of bikes occasionally um, so basically the SV it was comfy um, but it wasn't as comfy as as this especially when you go over Jesus he's a bit keen um, especially when you go over bumps or little flaws in the road um, this is a lot smoother the SV had more of a back seat and I used to slide around a lot um, whereas this the seat is shorter um, so I've got to make sure my bum stays on the seat at all times even through the harsh and sharp braking and erratic gear changes um, in terms of the sound the sounds good really good the first thing he told me when he bought it is he said that when it gets to 7000 rpm it goes like a rocket i was like yeah yeah whatever don't believe you okay yeah sure so when i went out on it for the first time when it hit 7000 8000 rpm yeah it went like a rocket all right <laughs> it don't know what happens it just shoots off it's ridiculous oh my god a silky burberry shirt what the fuck are you doing fashion police over here we've got a burberry silky shirt That's why I love the biking community because you can talk to anyone and you have respect for pretty much everybody. I mean, obviously, there are a couple of assholes out there that um, don't ride with any gear on, especially in the summer. I've seen people ride in freaking flip flops for Christ's sake. I don't even drive in flip flops. Why would you? Why would you even ride in flip flops? That's just stupid. Uh, t-shirt and shorts, especially on. I've seen people riding ninjas in t-shirt and shorts, and you think you don't even deserve that bike. You don't even know what that bike can do to you. And the only way for them to learn about that is for them to fall off, have an accident when they're wearing um, t-shirt and shorts, and for them all of their skin to come off and all of their muscle and our, as you bikers know you can't regrow muscle so that is very very important and I think and so does he that yes you might pay like six seven hundred pounds for a set of leathers like top and bottom and then you might pay another six hundred pound for a helmet and then like 150 quid for Le like um, gloves and then you might pay another like 300 pound for boots whatever but as you rightly think about it your life hasn't got a price and these items that you can buy for bikes they are made to last a long time if you look after them and they're there for a reason it's like it's like a seatbelt for a car that's there for a reason why don't you wear it? You're a fucking idiot if you don't. But yeah, the biking community, even when I was on my, I had a uh, Sim Simply 125 and uh, being a girl, yeah, people would used to look at me when I would walk around in my uh, like textiles and carry my helmet around. Actually, they still do and I'm in leathers, but that might be for another reason. And I love it how you, all you guys nod. I think it's amazing. <laughs> um, just out of interest those who are the good guys that ride bikes which I'm sure you all are comment in the box below what the fuck are you doing comment in the box below what your favourite thing about the biking community is that's, mo that's motorbike 
community what's the best thing and why and if there's anything that you would change about the biking community what is it and why because that'll be really interesting to know so if there's any really good roads any good routes you guys have got please please let us know i'd love to know Okay, this is where we are. Oh, this is my time to get off. Oh, before Winnie pulled up in his SV, he would never get anybody um look at his bike where people are now. They must feel proud. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> 